Hey everyone, my name is Nigel Bajos, and today I'm going to be giving you a review of this little tiny travel tripod by Amazon Basics. And so I've had this for about, I want to say at least two years, if not a little longer. But I've had this for a while and I wanted to give you some of my thoughts on it, some of the things I like and some of the things that I don't like about it so much. Alright, so the first thing that I wanted to note about this tripod is that it doesn't get very tall. Unfortunately, this tripod only has a max length of, I'll put it right here on my shirt, but not super tall. I'm about six feet, so if I was gonna try to use this as like a YouTube camera, if I was like standing up, as you can see, this obviously wouldn't work too well, but it does get decently high for how compact of a tripod it is. All right, so for standing up shots, it doesn't really work out too well, but if you're sitting down and wanting to do like a, you know, talk to the camera type setup like this, it actually works just fine. I would totally trust my camera on this tripod. Not necessarily bigger cameras, like if you're rocking like a C100 or something of that caliber, I wouldn't really put a camera that big onto a tripod like this. This is definitely made more for like mirrorless cameras, I would say, or maybe like, you know, a slightly bigger DSLR. I put my ADD on here before and it worked out just fine, but if I wanted to feel 100% confident I would just put smaller cameras on this tripod for sure. That's what's kind of hard about like reviewing a tripod is that like most tripods will hold your camera up and keep it in place pretty well. So what it really comes down to is like the durability, like the build quality of this tripod and what other features it adds in order to make you want to get this tripod as opposed to one of the many other cheap tripods that can be found on Amazon. All right, so definitely one of the strong points for this tripod is actually the ball head on top of it. This ball head is actually really good. I didn't ever used to use ball heads for video just because I was always with the mindset of I need a video fluid pan and tilt head. But honestly, I really like using a ball head strictly because I'm not doing a lot of tilts and when I need a pan, this actually has a fluid pan head on it so I can actually get some really nice fluid panning shots with this ball head and I would actually say that the pan on this is just a little bit smoother than my newer s2 heads which is kind of crazy and honestly since a lot of the stuff that I do is just locked off shots having a ball head just makes leveling out my camera so much easier because unless you have a ball mount on your fluid head tripod you're gonna have to like adjust the legs and stuff to you know make it be level but with a ball head, you can have it on uneven ground and just set the ball head and then use the internal spirit level of your camera if you have one. All right, so the next thing that I wanted to test was how quickly I could get this little tripod set up. One of the draws for a compact travel tripod is that it's really easy to take with you, but I wanna see how long it takes to get this tripod set up. I'm actually more of a fan of the flip lock system as opposed to the twist lock just because I feel like it just makes it so much easier. I can just flip them all, like shoot it out like this, and then all the legs are out. But with these, you have to twist each one and then twist them all back once it's in the actual like tripod position. So I'm gonna put a little timer on the screen and we'll see how long it takes me to get it from this to the like fully extended tripod position. So as far as build quality goes, this is definitely one of the things that I've had a little bit of an issue with. I've had this tripod like break on me twice and I've had to like crazy glue it back together. The other thing that broke was the weight hook. Now this tripod does have a hook on the bottom of it to, you know, maybe like hang your backpack or something like that, which adds more stability to the middle of the tripod. That little hook did come off, but again, I fixed it with crazy glue and it seems to be working fine again. I have had this tripod for at least two years, maybe more, so, and I have been pretty rough with it. So maybe it's my fault that these things broke, but I was expecting a little bit more durability out of this tripod. But if you're a little more gentle with your gear, this really shouldn't be an issue. I haven't used a lot of other small travel tripods, but this one is pretty light and it would have to be a lot lighter than this for me to spend more money on, you know, one of like the Mi Photo ones or something like that. But this one is really light and it gets really compact. Oftentimes I can just put this right into the main compartment 
of my camera backpack and I don't have to like, you know, put it on the outside of my backpack at all just because of how small this can get. And again, it's super light. And when I'm hiking or going out into the mountains or something like that, I don't want to bring my big tripod with me because it's just a lot of weight and it's, you know, cumbersome, it's big. I would rather bring a small little tripod like this that can still get the job done as long as I'm not talking to the camera standing up or if I don't need to like get it super high. This tripod does the trick just fine. All right, so my final thoughts on this tripod. Pros definitely is that it's really small. It can pack up really small. Cons, I would say the build quality isn't the best and I definitely prefer the flip lock system as opposed to the twist lock. That's just personal preference though. I would definitely say another con is the price. Unless you can find it like used or refurbished on Amazon, it's like 90 bucks. So might be a little hard to justify for a lot of people, but I would definitely say that it's worth the money if you're looking for something that's carbon fiber, really light and also really sturdy. And plus you get a really good ball head in the deal as well. So if you're interested in picking up this tripod, I'll have a link in the description for it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I have links to some of my LUT packs if you're interested in that. All my LUT packs are only five bucks each. And there's also a link to my Patreon if you wanna support me there. So yeah, thank you again so much for watching and until next time, I will see you all in the next video.